in this question we have collected n people in a room and all these people are born in april and we know that april has 30 days so this assumption of simplicity basically means that we are calling this month of 30 days is april otherwise this question will be applicable for any other month with 30 days like june or september now we are interested in the event that at least two people in the room being born on the same date of the month and here we say the two people are born on same date as long as they are born in april irrespective of the year of their birth so even if one is born in 1980 and another one in 1985 but as long as they are born in april we'll consider that they are born on the same date now we want to find the smallest n so that the probability of this event exceeds 0 0.5 and the event is at least two people in the room being born on the same date of the month so let's call this event e and we want to find smallest n such that probability of e exceeds 0 0.5 now this event e is quite complex event and very difficult to consider all the cases but we can easily find pe through its complement that is 1 minus pe complement will be greater than 0 0.5 and here e bar is complement of e that is all the people in the room are born on different dates so if i simplify this inequality i get pe bar less than 0 0.5 and we want to find smallest n such that pe bar is less than 0 0.5 and e bar is the event that all the people are born on different dates we can find pe bar easily if we treat these n people as n objects and the 30 days is 30 beans so this converts our problem to the problem of arranging n objects in 30 beans and the bin number in which the person is placed is considered his date of birth so the number of ways in which these n people can be arranged in these 30 days so that no two people are in the same day will be first selecting the n bins or days out of the 30 days and then arranging those n persons in these n days using n factorial ways and here note that when n objects are identical we do not multiply with n factorial because there will be only one way to arrange n identical objects in n places but because people are all distinct so there will be n factorial ways to arrange n distinct objects in n places and that's why here we are multiplying 30 cn with n factorial to get total number of ways and if i divide this by total number of ways in which we can place these n people in these 30 days without any restriction then this will become the probability of e bar so the total number of ways will be given by 30 to the power n because each of the n people can be placed in these 30 days in 30 ways so total number of ways will be 30 to the power n so this is nothing but pe bar and we know that pe bar should be less than 0 0.5 this implies i can simplify 30 cn into n factorial is 30 factorial divided by 30 minus n factorial into n factorial into n factorial divided by 30 to the power n and that is less than 0 0.5 this implies here this n factorial we cancel this n factorial so this gives me 30 factorial divided by 30 minus n factorial 30 to the power n less than 0 0.5 now we want to find smallest n such that 
30 factorial upon 30 minus n factorial into 30 to the power n is less than 0 0.5 and if we look at our options the smallest n is 7 so let's try for n equals to 7 then this expression will become and this we will have to simplify using calculator. So this will give me value 0 0.469 which is less than 0 0.5. So n equals to 7 is the smallest value of n out of the given options for which PE bar is less than 0 0.5. However, we are not sure if it is the smallest possible n out of all natural numbers for which PE bar will be less than 0.5. So let's check the value of PE bar for n equals to 6 also. So when n is equals to 6, PE bar will be equals to 30 factorial upon 24 factorial into 30 to the power 6. And the value of this expression, again, I can find using calculator will be 0 0.586. And this is clearly not less than 0 0.5 so n equals to 6 cannot be the smallest n so our smallest n will be n equals to 7 for which pe complement will be less than 0 0.5 and pe will be greater than 0 0.5 so our option b is correct